Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you all. And welcome back to the Beta Plan, playing CK2 once again. This time, I have another treat for you. We are going to play Alternative History. And I have managed, for you, my viewers, with a little bit of trickery, that I can play Il Papa, Le Pope Man, the Papal State, in CK2. Now why have I chosen this start date? Let me explain. Because the trick that I needed to do in order to play Il Papa ties right into this date. Pope Clement V, uh, this man, was forced by King Philippe IV to do a most atrocious act that we will not do in this alternative history. You see, it ties into the Knight Templars. The Knights Templar were an order of about 200 years old at this start date. And they had a lot of money. Money that, for instance, King Philippe IV borrowed. But he borrowed so much he could not pay it back. And despite being a 200 year old order, it had fallen out of favor with the populace. Strange rumors about their rights of initiation were about, and King Philippe made use of this. In the year 1307, he ping, he arrested numerous Knight Templars, and under torture, as so the papers later would say, he obtained false testimonies that their rituals were heretical. So, in the year 1308, he demanded of Pope Clemens V that he would say that the Knights Templar were heretics and to disband them. In the year 1312, on the 3rd of April, the Pope admitted. Though he did not accuse them of heresy, he did disband the Knights Templar and gave all their possessions to the nice hospitalers. If I even, even if you start to play after the year 1312 on April, you cannot even hire the Knights Templar anymore. They are only available at this date, as the latest. So in this alternative history, Pope Clement V did not adhere to the request of King Philippe IV. In fact, well, he did, but in a different way. He did not disband the Knights Templar, no, he would cleanse it himself, putting the order under his supervision. Hmm? Ah, well, that's an alternative history. Moreover, it's very interesting to play as the Pope because this is about as powerful as the papacy ever was. We are the Duke of Spoleto, and Dutch have a de jure claim on Apruzzi. We actually have a holding in Benevento. We have a holding up here within the Holy Roman Empire, Barony of Este, which is because the Duke of Ferrara di Este is part of us. And although his family used to own also Modena, Ferrara is now a Prince Bishopric. And this little boy is the new man on the throne. We also have Venice, if I pronounce this correctly, up here in Burgundy. That is quite a little bit of land. The only thing we do not own that the Papal Estate did own in history is Urbino. This is now, uh, well, free again. As you can see, this was part of the papacy. But it is no more. In fact, interesting enough is that the same character, I think it is? No, it's a... Is it the same Hito? Yes, it is exactly the same Hito that gains the land back. So I don't know how this happened, but... In history, did not look that up, but... 
We should get that back. But that's a very small goal. The larger goal at hand here is Jerusalem. It has fallen to the Muslim Middin. The king of Cyprus here even has a claim on Jerusalem, for his father was the king of Jerusalem, and even his son was the king of Jerusalem. Only only held the lands of Acre and Beirut. Only he didn't even hold Beirut, but these were the last two lands of a Catholic Jerusalem kingdom, if we can call it that, to fall back into the hands of the Muslims. We must again this back. And as a Pope, we can actually declare crusades. Despite you know you are normally not allowed to play as the Pope, you we can call crusades. We cannot, however, say for instance, King Philippe the Fourth, how dare you I request you to become excommunicated because we cannot interact with ourselves. Excommunication is something we cannot do. However, Having said all that, I think this is a rather unique setup. And before you go scream and shouting, you're going to get way too much money. Yes, I have a lot of income. But whenever there's a holy war declared, for instance by this Tengri Golden Horde and it would attack Transylvania, remember that sudden 200 gold pieces that the Pope might give you? Yeah, that happens. I have no control over it. I lose money randomly. Do not worry. I have tried it out a little bit, it's, it's pretty balanced, no worries. So, having said all that, I think it is time to play as Il Papa and see what we can do. So, first of all, we want to become a Paragon of Virtue. We are the Pope Man, so we will take a theolo theology focus. Moreover, that will please this boy. After all, we are the head of the religion and we have a theology focus. Let's also transfer the visage of these two gentlemen, because they are part of his duchy, and this man doesn't like me very much. Wrong government type. This man doesn't mind so much, because he doesn't think I'm the wrong government type. This is due to the fact that I hold this Knight Templar title, because interestingly enough, uh, and logically, the main holdings for the Knights Templar are baronies, and not churches. And that's causing that issue. Uh, so, regardless of that, however, he should have both. So I'm transferring the vassalage of both these men to this boy. And this boy now loves me. Hmm? This man is not too keen on me, I think. Nope, not too keen on me. It's also because I have too much Demesne size, but that will... We will try and rectify that shortly. I'll make him a Seneschal. Can we award him on a third title? Well, we couldn't say that he's a designated regent, but I do not care for that. We increase crown authority, low. That immediately goes through, by the way, before you wonder why. That is because, despite the fact that we are the papacy, all of this is considered part of Italy. Despite the fact that Latinum has been <laughs> already a long, long time under the papacy, this is still considered the jury part of Italy. The game does not take that into account. We want low centralization, less vassals, but we can hold our domestic nice size. Um, yeah, well, we can't marry, so we are we are la pop. Game, this no, no use. This we will take care of. We can create the Duchy of Latinum, very nice. Hmm, and we could attack the jour claim for a Prutium. That would not be too bad. If Actually, if you start in uh, the year 1290 or so, this man is independent. And you can gain... And he, because he's Italian, it's quite easy to diplo vassalize him. But in this case, we cannot. So let's look at our council. Oof. People do not like me. Well, that can happen. Um, we want some money. From Rome, we want some extra troops. Let's talk to this man because he hates me because he is the Duke of the Provence and thus he wants venison and we are going to attack him as well so Naples and Rome they are not uh, big friends of one another and if somebody will ask me to excommunicate him I will definitely say yes I don't know if we if we get a pop-up if somebody would ask that 
I have not had that happen yet to me, uh, but um, we'll see. Okay, I wasn't too busy with this. Uh, let's spy in Siena, because simply I doubt that he has, will have a great spy master, because he's very small. And we will try and spread the fate of the Golden Horde, because they are still Tengri. Whereas the Ilkhanat has turned Shi'i. And I assume that every man that is Tengri now will certainly fall soon to Shi'i because everything else is Shi'i already. Or Sunni, sorry. That's all Sunni. Wow, and only is it only the Emperor Shi'i? This man is also Sunni. Uh, this man is Shi'i. Regardless, they're Muslim, so it's easier for him in comparison to Golden Horde, who is Tengri and has all the Rurikids who are Orthodox. Under him, all the Rurikids are Orthodox. And he even has the Dulo, a very, very old line. I've said this before once. Look at how far I can scroll back. And they were kings already in 656. But they are, uh, yeah, they turn to uh, the Sunni faith. And this man is, for instance, Sunesco. So sometimes you see a big revolt happening and the Golden Horde breaks apart. But nonetheless, Let's see if we can turn these Tengri people to the Catholic faith. Oh, Alans, I assume Orthodox? Yes, they are Orthodox indeed. And here you see that Ram has completely broken up and you have all these small little Sunni kingdoms of one province with all these titular titles. All right, well, having all said that, this is the stage. We want to get Urbino back. Oh, I did not even tell that, I think. Urbino, uh, despite this being about the biggest the Papal State has ever been, Urbino used to be of the Papal State, and we can see that over here. But it turned back towards the original man that owned it, by the way. Look. See? No portrait change. I don't know how that happened, but uh, he had to give it to a family member, and then that turned into the Pope, and then that turned back to... It's messy. I have not looked up how that went with Urbino. Regardless of that, we have said no to King Philippe IV. We have taken control of the Knights Templar and we are to take back Jerusalem as a penance for all the... Well... Vile rumors and to show that the Templars have been reformed proper. I say we do this. Let's do this, come on! Speed up. Oh dear, well there goes our core chaplain. The Tengri did not want to listen. Let's see if... Do we have anywhere else that we can send him? Oh. I doubt it. Oh, Lithuania. Yes, we'll try Lithuania. Now that Lithuania is very big in, during this time, but who knows. They actually have a Rurikid under them. I didn't know that. A Jihad for Castile! Okay, so the Muslims have decided that Castile, which is currently this, by the way, should fall to them. Now, we're definitely going to lose money and, and help him out. But I think, even more so, I am the Pope. So we are... Uh, oh, wow, he has a Jihad and a Holy War. Did he declare a holy war for Grenada as an offensive, or is he defending? No, he's attacking indeed. Well, I will offer to join the war in the Jihad for Castile. That that will that will not happen. And to make sure that we... No, well, there goes our other court chaplain. Darn it! Why will you not accept the savior that is Christ? Uh, so, let's call upon the holy orders. At least this holy order, because we command it. The Knights Templar. And the one that is... By the way, Castile... Uh, you see that they are already hired by Castile, but moreover, they... Uh, I believe they are vassals of Castile. Like the Knights Templar are supposedly... Uh, were under Jerusalem when the Kingdom of Jerusalem was still in this region. Alright, and seeing we are only helping, we wouldn't have to pay for them, because we are not defending in a holy war. No, we are... are Well, we are defending, but not against a holy war that's declared against us, or a jihad that is declared against us in this case. But we are at least going to send these men, because that is what the Pope should do. 
But we need to wait for a low crown. Uh, no, we have low crown afforded. Then I don't know why I cannot change. Let's see here. If I call up some of my own men. Then I can put myself in the army. Resign myself from this army. Say that this army may go home. And now I am not in this army. Alright, good. So now we don't... I find that a little silly as Pope to go all the way to Castile. We need to focus, after all, on Naples. Naples has land that is rightfully ours. And heck, the borders, the de jure borders of Naples end here. Aprucium should be ours. Aprucium? Is that correctly pronounced, by the way? I'm not sure if any person in Italy actually watches this. I know Benevento is... Decently pronounced, let me put it that way, but I'm not sure if I put the emphasis right in this capital. Ah, he is at least accepted. Oh! That was a very short jihad! The. What? The Sunni Caliphate has been taken away from the man that had it! The Sunni Caliphate has no more claimants! Wow! How in the heck did that happen? Um, this man was... It doesn't state how, but he lost his claim in the Hasimit territory. This man gained it and therefore the man that was... That had the proper uh, area <laughs> is no more the Sunni Caliphate. Well, that was the shortest jihad ever! And a little bit silly that it gets uh, cancelled that way, but uh, alright. We'll take it. There are rulers in the world who are sadly neglecting laws that Jesus himself gave to the Holy Church. Ah, invite them to follow the true doctrines. We give him a papal letter. Yes, indeed, you have these unique events as you're playing as Il Papa. And strangely enough, we are not normally allowed to play him. Why? Paradox. Is this the next update that will happen? Is this secret things that you have put into the game? King Eric VI has accepted God's will and is now allowing papal appointments of the bishop. Glory to God. Yeah, this is uh, when you um, hear the laws. You can have papal investor or free investor. Apparently Denmark had free investor and he has now accepted that it is not free investor but papal investor. I wish by the way I could now go here and I cannot tell them who, who should become the next guy in line despite it being papal investor but alright. Interesting nonetheless and wouldn't you agree? We have 9902 men. He has 10,000 men, but he has, ooh, the king of Hungary, and, oh, he has way too many allies to attack. Alright, for now, Aprucium is yours. Oh, you are in warfare, that might actually be good for us. Attacking Serene Dorch of Genoa and the Napolitian Genoa is de jour over Nice. You won this area. After all, you are in the, 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 the Duke of the Provence. Well, if this war goes bad for Naples, we might get an opening. Otherwise, it will be difficult. Oh, let's spend our money. We have money. Spending money is good. This will give us tax income. As you can see, tax income, levy size and fort level. I like walls. I like to build walls. Oh, before anyone says, by the way, yes, this is now all considered hold of the wrong type. Despite being Il Papa, it considers me a Knight Templar and thus I should actually have, according to them, baronies. Now, I'm, I am more than willing to slowly transfer these lands, just claim the barony and then have, as I have more domestic size, get more baronies under my control. But, of course, for Rome, I am going to keep it as a church. Come on, it's Rome. It's Roma. Il Papa. And he needs the church. I probably pronounced that in a horrible way now. A little bit over-exaggerated. I hope that everybody gets that I'm over-exaggerating. Il Papa or Roma. By the way, my own accent uh, uh, causes me to always lengthen the R in itself. Well, do you know why you lost that battle? 
Why are you coming with 5,000 men this way? Go that way! That was an easy army you could have defeated. Oh. I doubt that Naples... Uh, Zavoy is also coming down this way. Is Zavoy an ally of yours? No. Why is Zavoy coming down this way? Hold on. Little pause. pause. You are... Attacking Transylvania because Hungary wants land back. Right. I can understand that. Uh, let's put down our order. I would love to declare the crusade already, but is that smart? Because most of the time, yeah, this happens always. The game has just started up. Hench. Everything is going off. No, I didn't even notice. Yeah, because the Permas led are originally the kings of Bohemia. Alright. And also, she is linked to the original emperor of one of the houses that almost everybody knows, the von Habsburgs. Who owned... <laughs> who, who owned tons of land. We have a dangerous faction on our hands. Lower crown of 40, that's not going to happen. You can shove it. I have not bent to King Philippe. Do not think that I will bend to a single county count. We're getting some tech points. Very well, good, very good. If people would just accept this law... Who is not supporting this law right now? A lot of barons. A lot of mares. Hmm. Oh, I imagined a situation which became more and more intimidating with an outcome that could mean life or death. I swallowed hard and decided that I would stay put and fight. We are brave. We stood up to King Philippe. Oh, wow, and we gained, gained it. That is so good because brave gives a plus 10 opinion from vassals. Perhaps then our law would come through. And if this goes away, which is why I so badly want this law to pass... Then people would ha not have this minus 10 penalty with me. Because that is the bloody stupid thing of it. I have a minus 10 penalty. Not with him for some reason. That's weird. Because my domestic size is large. That should... No normally that gives a penalty. I don't know why that is... Oh, that is the same man. Do you not have this penalty with me? No. Oh, come on then, please. Then I will gain at least more men of it. And I could use that because I have some weird things going on why the Pope is quite relatively weak on, in comparison to what he can be. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So, you my boy. Mm, you're not being trained by a man that shares my view on the world. Why don't you let me train you? And then before you become 16, we'll try and remember that we'll give it to somebody else that has a uh, even higher scholar and theologian things. Ooh! Another one. There are rules in the world who are suddenly neglecting the laws of Jesus himself. Gate to the Holy Church. Let's make sure that this man also changes to the papal way. Oh! Our former court chaplain was released. Very good. Because that was our best court chaplain. And we lack a court chaplain right now. Thank you very much. Uh, research cultural technology. Because we cannot go back to the horde for now. Hmm. Oh, King Juan II has uh, sent donations to the church. This will be needed for holy work. He did not change the law, but he gave us 200 gold pieces. Thank you much, very much. And how did you manage that when you are now in debt? Well, if you want to be in debt, man, that's your choosing. Uh, let's upgrade this holding, can we? Yes, well, let's build some church walls. Naples, how is your war going? Not too shabby, but I noticed a more interesting war. 
Kaganto God of the Golden Horde is defending in the Mongol Conquest of Spies. He is attacking Conquest of Spies for this little land. That is um, that is an old land to attack for. Why would he attack Hungary and not, for instance, Wallachia, who is much weaker? Well, can only hope that uh, he revolts because then all of this breaks off and it will become hard for him to uh, hold on to that land. Uh, another king who is not following our rightful laws, the king of Castile and Leon. Uh, is this on Gavel kind? No, good. Otherwise this uh, Castile here will break apart. Oh, he won his war, holy war for Granada. Ah, and he also now follows our laws. We have such a good pop here. Did you hear that? Did you see? I was just pointing at it. We had 477 gold and voila, we changed. Probably it was given to Hungary, I assume. At least that's one of the things that it could go to. No, he doesn't have a lot of money. I doubt it is him. Um... Oh yeah, interesting by the way, it isn't Don Zhao on the throne of Hungary and Croatia. And no longer an Hungarian man, it's the same dynasty that rules Naples. I wonder how that actually changed. I, I don't know how that went in history. Here's an Arpad. Oh, the Arpad died. Is the Arpad line dead? Well, there are still free living members, but uh, I don't know where they are. Oh, that would be a cert... Oh... There we have them. Three little ladies, and there is indeed her child is now the king of Hungary. Our pot is dead in this timeline. All right. And for a short moment, it went to this guy. I don't know why Van Wittelsbach got claim to this throne. Most likely none through. Yeah, indeed. Through that our pot line, but well, he is not currently on that throne. Well, cultural speaking, he rules all of Hung only Hungarian land, so perhaps that's why he might switch back to Hungarian. And he is married to an Italian girl, who already gave birth to some children. The Duke of Verona. Alright. And these random people that are joining here, like this man, from the, the Barcelona line, are people that are joining us because we are a holy order. Could people please vote for my law? Please. Uh, I just need a few people being convinced if Count Bertoldo of Orvieto would vote for it. This man. Then we could get it. Alright. I will award you the honorary title of designated regent. Alright. And I will bribe you a little. Oh, no way. I will not bribe you. You are a greedy little man. No, 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 no. That's too much. Oh, there went our money. That's why I said it's quite balanced. Despite having a huge income from all the people all over the world to the papal state, we lose a lot of money as well. If you vote for my law, I will have better control of my domestic. Please vote for it. Thank you very much. Well, regardless of that, I think it's time to uh, end our first episode. The stage is set. You now know what we're going to do. We're going to play Il Papa. We're waiting a little bit for uh, the first wars to dissipate. The uh, war with the Holy Roman Empire versus France. And then we can declare our crusade. Because that is our goal for this little mini campaign. To gain back. To declare the Holy Crusade for Jerusalem. And hopefully win it. So that we can say that the Knights Templar were not to be disbanded. They restored their honor, if it was needed at all, but that's between the lines, by reclaiming the Holy Land. And yes, I can declare on this man, by the way, without the Ilkhanat moving in, because the Ilkhanat is Shi'i. And he is Sunni, and they are attacking one another, I now just noticed. That is so good. Bari is winning. And he's now has a ton of troops. This is also good for us to notice. 25,000. He's hired 14,000 men. He's losing a lot of money. This is very good for us. Yes. Well, with that happy note, I thank you for watching. And remember,
great peril yields great beauty. 